Now that everyone is talking about this 3% housing levy that the government of Kenya is imposing on all Kenyans, hata mamangu mwenyako, ushago mwenyako na nyumba, and my dad, is supposed to pay the percentage. So my view on this 3% housing tax is this. Why does everyone have to explain to us? If it has to be explained to us, and imposed in our minds, it's because it's not something that's useful to us. We don't need it, you know? Anyway, now th this goes to the youth of this country. <laughs> Let me remind you for the a millionth time. The government is not there to help you. Please, and I don't know, get this in your head, but the government will never help you. That's not why they are there. They're not there to help you. If anything, they are there to make your life more complicated. Now, let me ask you something. Imagine as a Kenyan, of all the problems we have in this country, housing is what the government felt we needed. Jamani, Atakama, any housing, of all the problems Kenyans have, food, housing is what they found is a problem and needs immediate attention. So you guys think we don't know what actually happens in politics, so to call it, but we know. What you guys are doing, you actually just mnatupea nyama, before hata tuonje mafuta, mnatukua nyama mnameza ninyo nyewe. So you just make sure we see that you're working, but you're not actually working. But we have to see you working. Another example, seriously. Here the government was giving kids laptops. <laughs> In Africa, a Kenyan student needs a laptop. Let me ask you, of all the needs, of all the needs a Kenyan student needs, a laptop is what the government felt was priority. No, that one, they have it. Even feeding kids in school during lunch break. No. Or even starting a program to offer kids sweaters. No. But laptops is what the government felt the kids needed most. Germany. We're not that stupid. We know how you guys do these things. We just need to see you guys working. And you're not there to actually help us. We know that. So you thought this country, it's either you help yourself the government will never offer you nothing. They're not there for us. They're there for themselves. And again, we all know this. Solving non-existent problems. <laughs> I don't know, because whenever the government comes up with something, I'm always like, uh, wait, do we need this? Like this housing thing. Do we need it? We don't need it. They always solve non-existent problems.